Part 10, more than a million dollars spent to bring Hollywood movies and TV shows to Houston. But there are no major blockbusters to show for the effort. Channel 2 investigates the Houston Film Commission and its employees cashing big paychecks and living California lifestyles. We're hoping to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, since there is some time now available, please. Houston is a bustling metropolis with an iconic skyline, diverse neighborhoods, and plenty of scenic backdrops. Let's face it, it's beautiful here. The perfect place to shoot a movie if you ask the Houston Film Commission. The commission uses public money to bring movie and TV productions to H-Town. So, how's it going? Channel 2 investigates discovered production in Houston is down while commission spending is up. Executives enjoy big salaries and a growing budget. Investigator Mario Diaz uncovers the spending and reveals what we're getting for our money. Imagine your job in Houston blooming into an incredible opportunity in Tinseltown. A place where ritzy roadsters cruise under palms stretching to the heavens. From the sand <laughs> to the glitz and glam, Los Angeles is fueled by vibrant color, mind-bending creativity, and its major economic driver, prominently displayed on a hilltop. This is LA, and since late 2015, the Houston Film Commission has relied on Sharon Adams as their Los Angeles representative. A blockbuster gig focused on luring Hollywood film and television shoots to Houston. She earns a big salary for the job, $174,983.12. And 12 cents. The majority of her travel and expenses paid for too, well into the tens of thousands. The Film Commission is not a private entertainment company with deep pockets. It's actually run by the city, and it uses public dollars. All the leaves are brown. The Texas Film Commission highlights select film and TV production in the state. In 2017, <laughs> Fear the Walking Dead and The Sun helped Austin dominate production with 16 projects. Dallas had 10, San Antonio made a cameo at two. But on the state's list, Houston ended up on the cutting room floor without a single major on-location film or television production. The Houston Film Commission provided its own list, which includes a handful of 2017 productions. I know that I'm not supposed to be eating. TLC's My 600-Pound Life. It's just a matter of time that he would get it. And Animal Planet's Vet Life are two shows they list. Houston, we have a problem. But still missing, a Hollywood deal brokered by Sharon Adams with a blockbuster budget or major star power. Even on its own website, the Film Commission has nothing to show for 2017. I want something good, Chef. Now, there is one show the Commission likes to town. I should have worn my boots. Tillman Fertitta's Billion Dollar Buyer, a CNBC show developed well before Adams arrived out west. Houston, we're all with you. Channel 2 Investigates also discovered in its production reports the Film Commission counts news and sporting events, such as a post-Harvey Network television interview with J.J. Watt, CBS's Final Four coverage in 2016, and TV production related to the 2017 Super Bowl. I wouldn't put it in the uh, quarterly reports of the Film Commission. But it's listed right there, NFL sports for Super Bowl coverage. Right, but if I'm trying to perfume a pig, of course I'm going to put that in there. Houston First Corporation funds the Film Commission using money collected from the city's hotel tax. Councilmember Dave Martin represents the city on the group's board of directors. Thank you. Martin was in Chambers in February when Brenda Bazan took over as president and CEO of Houston First. She told Mayor Sylvester Turner and the council. One of the cornerstones of, of my leadership as we go forward will be, and I think you all saw uh, example, an example of that last night, uh, will be transparency. Channel 2 investigates. Send Bazan's team multiple requests for an interview about Adams and the commission's work. Bazan had nothing to say. However, her team, in an 11th hour email, says she will sit down with us at the end of May. We tried Sharon Adams, too. The Film Commission does not list an office number or business address for Adams in L.A. We did eventually find her, but she would not talk on the record. Finally, we tracked down Film Commission Executive Director Rick Ferguson at a public meeting. The meeting just broke because there's no quorum. With his schedule suddenly open, 
we figured Ferguson would make time. We're hoping to ask a few questions, if you don't mind, since there is some time now available, please. I actually don't have that amount of time. That there, you were going to be here for a meeting this morning, sir, that just broke. Work with uh, these folks and set up something a little later. Well, we've been trying to reach out to you for well, weeks, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, for being please. Sorry. The meeting just broke, and obviously there's an opening on the schedule. I'll something up, Mario. While Ferguson had about as much to say as a silent film, Houston first senior vice president of public affairs, Robert Jackson, did respond. Can you point to any major Hollywood film or television show that's been filmed here in Houston in the last two years? Billion Dollar Buyer, Little People, My 600 Pound Life. Jackson failed to name a major Hollywood blockbuster film or television production. And the shows he did reference <laughs> were in production before Sharon Adams landed in Los Angeles. Since Sharon Adams has been in Los Angeles, the Film Commission's budget has increased by $326,000 to over $1 million. Mm. All right, so we, we know that she's getting paid $175,000, according to your report. Right. What about the Film Commission's executive director? Well, that's Rick Ferguson, mm -hmm. and he makes about $177,000 per year. How do these salaries compare with other cities and other states? Well, we, we reached out to a number of other commissions, not only for cities as well as for states, California and Texas included. Um, we're going to, they make similar numbers. They're, they're, excuse me, they make significantly more than many of those counterparts. Mm -hmm. We're going to break down those numbers for you mm -hmm. tomorrow night at 10. I'm kind of surprised by all this because Sharon Adams was a news reporter, television news reporter here in Houston I worked with, and you would think that she would understand the need for transparency and returning comment and talking about this. Well, we were hoping to talk to them at a meeting that broke. They had an opening mm -hmm. at that very mm -hmm. moment. He was scheduled to be there. Meeting got canceled. Opening developed, but as you said, he didn't have the time. All right. All right, Mario. Thank, Thank you. you very much.